Hi guys, I'm Rahul from Simply Learn and today I'm going to tell you how you can become a successful data scientist. Now before I begin, let me give you an example. Share at home and you're bored and you feel like watching a TV show or a movie. Then you get on Netflix. You scroll through all the TV shows and movies that they offer. Then you're recommended the latest season of Daredevil because you've seen shows similar. We all enjoy binging shows on Netflix. But do you actually know how much of data science is used along with Netflix? Netflix analyzes the user's behavior from hundreds of different TV shows and movies to create the best recommendations for everyone. They measure user engagement and retention on various shows. Now, currently they're even applying advanced metrics that include when you pause, rewind or fast forward. That's when you see something really cool and you want to watch it again. What day you watch the content? For example, some days you feel like watching a comedy show, sometimes drama and so on. When and why you leave the content? When you stop watching a show, why did you stop? What time you watch? Which content? Children tend to watch in the morning and adults when they return from work. From where you watch in the world? Searches for the show, the ratings given, browsing and scrolling behavior, and what device you watch the program on. Netflix uses data science to show better movie and show recommendations, at the same time creating better shows for the users. There are 33 million different versions of Netflix, says Joris Evers, who is the director of global communications. Netflix at the moment has more than 125 million users worldwide, which means on an average, only 4 people get the same iteration of Netflix. This is because of all the personalization that is done to suit the user's needs. Or did you also know that the popular show House of Cards was created completely using data science and big data? This was using the advanced metrics that I mentioned earlier. Netflix collected user data from another show called The West Wing. From this, they took into consideration where people rewound a particular scene, when they fast forwarded and when they stopped watching the show. With this, they were able to create what they believed was a perfectly engrossing show. Data science is the area of study which involves extracting knowledge from all the data that you can gather. Now that you understood what data science is, let's talk about what a data scientist does. We'll go through all the skills that are required by a data scientist. A data scientist needs to have the following 7 skills. Database knowledge, statistics, programming tools, data wrangling, machine learning, big data and data visualization. Let's go one by one. Skill number one, database knowledge. Gaining database knowledge is required to store and analyze data. Oracle database, SQL server, MySQL and Teradata are some of the tools that are required for this. Skill number two, statistics. Learning statistics, probability and mathematical analysis. Statistics is a science concerned with developing and studying methods for collecting, analyzing, interpreting and presenting empirical data. Skill number three, programming. Mastering one programming language. Programming tools such as R, Python and SAS are very important to perform from analytics and data. R is a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics. It supports most machine learning algorithms for data analytics like regression, association, clustering and so on. Python is an open source general purpose programming language and libraries such as NumPy and SciPy are used in data science. SAS can mine, alter, manage and retrieve data from a variety of sources. It can also perform statistical analysis on the data. Skill number four, data wrangling. Learning how to wrangle data. Data wrangling involves cleaning data, manipulating data and organizing the data. Some of the tools that are used are R, Python, Flume and Scoop. Skill number five, machine learning. To master the concepts of machine learning. Machine learning provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve with experience without being actually programmed to do that. Machine learning can be achieved through a number of different algorithms like regression, nave base, SVM, k-means clustering, KNN, decision tree, just to name a few. Skill number six, big data, having working knowledge of big data tools. Big data is a term that is used to describe large and complex data that cannot be dealt with with traditional data processing software. Some of the tools that are used or softwares that are used are Apache Spark, Hadoop, Talent, Tableau, Splunk and so on. Number seven, data visualization, to develop the ability to visualize results. Data visualization involves integrating different data sets, analyzing models and visualizing them in the form of diagrams, charts and graphs. Some of the tools or softwares that are used are Tableau, ClickView, Power BI and Google Data Studio. Let's talk about some of the job roles in data science. We have data scientist, data engineer, data architect, data analyst, business analyst and data administrator. Let's go one by one. Data scientist. A data scientist earns around 120,000 US dollars per year and these are their responsibilities to create data-driven business solutions and analytics, drive optimization and improvement of product development, to use predictive modeling to increase and optimize customer experience, revenue generation, targeting and so on, and coordinating with different functional teams to implement models and monitor their outcomes. Data Engineer A data engineer earns around 130,000 US dollars per year. Some of the responsibilities are assembling large complex data sets to identify, design and implement internal processes improvements, to build infrastructure required for optimal extraction, transformation and loading of data, to build analytics tools that utilize the data pipeline. 
data architect. A data architect earns around 112,000 US dollars per year, and these are their responsibilities to develop database solutions, to install and configure information systems, to analyze structural requirements for new software and applications, to migrate data from legacy systems to new solutions. Data analyst. A data analyst earns around 65,000 US dollars per year, and these are their responsibilities to interpret data and analyze results using statistical techniques, to acquire data from primary or secondary data sources and maintaining databases, to develop and maintain data analyses, data collection systems, and other strategies, working with management to prioritize business and information needs. Business analyst. A business analyst earns around 70,000 US dollars per year, and these are their responsibilities to assist the business with planning and monitoring, eliciting and organizing requirements, validating the resource requirements, and developing cost estimate models, creating informative, actionable, and repeatable reporting. Data administrator. A data administrator earns around 54,000 US dollars per year, and these are their responsibilities assisting in database design and updating existing databases, setting up and testing new database and data handling systems, sustaining the security and integrity of data, and creating complex query definitions that allow data to be extracted. Now, let's talk about some of the various skills that are required for the job. It's very important that a data analyst has a sound knowledge in programming tools, data visualization and communication, and data wrangling. A data architect needs to know a lot about programming tools, database knowledge, statistics, mathematics, and linear algebra. A data engineer must be good with programming tools, database knowledge, data wrangling, and software engineering. A business analyst needs to be good at data visualization and communication, statistics, data wrangling, and machine learning. A data administrator needs to be good with programming tools, database knowledge, and data wrangling. Now, however, a data scientist needs to be good at programming tools, data visualization, database knowledge, statistics, data wrangling, and machine learning. They also need to know a good amount of knowledge on software engineering, mathematics, and linear algebra, which means you basically need to know everything about the data. This goes to show that being a data scientist isn't easy, but it also cements why it is one of the most lucrative jobs in data science. Now, Simply Learn also provides certifications in data science. It provides a data science certification, which is a master's program. Under this program, we have courses in data science with SAS training, data science certification training with R programming, big data, Hadoop and Spark developer, data science with Python, business analytics with Excel, machine learning, deep learning with TensorFlow. We also have an integrated program in big data and data science, which is also a master's program. The courses that are covered are data science certification training with R programming, big data, Hadoop and Spark developer, Tableau desktop 10 qualified associate training, data science with Python and machine learning. Learning. We also have data science certification courses separately in Python, R, and SAS. Now, I hope this video has inspired you to take up a career as a data scientist. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.